Hello student, you are welcome to uh, the video for study session 3, Problem Solving with Computer Programming. After you must have studied this uh, session, you should be able to explain computer program and its types. You should be able to discuss the basic principles of computer programming. Now let's get it started. What is a computer program? A computer program is a series of step-by-step -step instructions that provide a solution to a particular computational problem and directs the computer to do exactly. Now, though a program is a set of instructions, but the statement must be submitted to a pro, uh, computer as a unit to direct the computer behavior. There are generally two types of programming. One, system programming. Two, uh, that's the application programming. And let's take them one by one. Um, system programming. System programs constitute the driving force behind the operations of the computer system. They are specially designed to facilitate the use of the hardware and to make the computer system function efficiently and run quickly. During the early days of uh, computer systems, human operators monitored computer operations, decided on the order in which the submitted programs should be run and made ready the input and output devices. Even though the speeds of uh, CPU, that is the central processing units, increased as a result of early electronic revolution, the speed of human operators behind the operational procedures of the computer did not increase. There were therefore time delays and errors uh, by the human operators, which constituted most of the problems that led to the development of a supercontroller program to handle the pro uh, problems caused by these uh, human operators. This special program here is what is known as the operating system. Now, what is an operating system? An operating system is a collection of system uh, programs that jointly controls the operations of a computer system and its resources. An operating system uh, also known as OS, simply helps you to efficiently and reliably run other programs and manage your files. Now, with an OS installed on your computer system, most of the responsibilities of the human operators that characterize early generation computer operations, such as the preparation of the I.O. device to be used for each program or the loading of the programs into memory, are now all done by the operating system. Now, there are two types of programs that make up the operating system. One, control programs, and two, processing programs. Under control programs, the operating system control programs generally uh, oversee the system operations and carry out tasks such as uh, input and output, scheduling, communicating with the computer user or programmer, and handling what is known as interrupts. An interrupt is just a signal that is sent to the CPU indicating that an event uh, that just occurred. Now, the second type of uh, operating system, uh, the second program, is known as the processing programs. The, pro the OS processing programs are those that facilitate the efficient processing operations by simplifying program preparation and execution for you as a user. The major processing programs existing in the OS are um, language translators. There are four. One, the language translator. Two, the linkage editor. Number three is the library programs. And then last but not the least is the utility programs. Now, let's look at the uh, second aspect, which is the application programming. Now I told you that uh, system programming, uh, I mean, the first type is the system programming and the second one is the application programming. Application programs are those that perform specific uh, computational tasks or data processing to solve users' problems. From this definition, you can see that, the, that application programs concentrate on the particular problem to be solved. Broad categories of application programs are word processing software, database applications, electronic spreadsheet application, 
uh, desktop uh, publishing applications, web publishing softwares, um, communication software, accounting software, uh, graphic tools, design software like computer uh, uh, edit uh, packages, modeling software, video editing, and so on. Now, let us look at the basic principles of programming. Um, there are five stages involved in program development. Number one is the pro uh, problem definition. Number two is the solution design. Number three is the program coding or writing. Number four is the program testing. And number five is program documentation and maintenance. Now, let's take them one after the other. Number one, problem definition. Problem formulation or definition is um, very essential in programming and it begins with recognition of the need for information by a user or an organization. The programmer is expected to analyze the problem thoroughly in order to understand what is required uh, of this solution. Generally, if you describe a problem carefully at the beginning of the programming process, your program will be better and might cost less to develop. Number two is the solution design. After the definition of the problem is completed, at least the, the first stage, the design of the solution is the next step, and this step may take the form of one or more programs. What is best to do here is for the programmer to take each step or segment of the problem definition and then work out a tentative uh, program flow. When you approach the solution by handling each segment separately, you can concentrate on developing an efficient and logical flow for that segment. This is the approach employed in what is called a modular programming, where a program is divided into parts uh, or modules for easy development and maintenance. Now, number three is uh, program coding or writing. Next to the uh, previous two steps of program development described above is the coding or the writing of the program itself in a specific programming language especially uh, high-level languages. In the previous study sessions, you've been taught high-level languages and uh, low-level languages. These high-level languages such as uh, Basic, Pascal, C++, C Sharp, or even Java, which uh, you will be introduced uh, later uh, in this course. Generally, the definition and solution of a problem do not depend on a particular programming language, but most of the times the proposed solution may limit the choices of languages that can be employed. It is also necessary to know that some, language, uh, some languages are better suited for some types of problems, as you will see when you further in this program. Number uh, four. The fourth step is the program testing. After the coding or writing of a program, um, it is submitted to the computer for testing. Generally, testing involves um, these three stages. You have debugging, compiling, and testing. Debugging. Errors in programs are usually called bugs, and the process of removing errors um, is, uh, your program is obviously called uh, debugging. Then compiling. Your program has to be translated before the uh, computer can execute it. Compiling is one way of translating your program while the other way is by using uh, what is known as interpreters. Testing. Usually for a large program that can be developed using a modular method, there are various stages of testing. There are four. Uh, major types. You have the unit testing, you have the integration testing, you have system testing, and the user uh, testing. Now, let's look, go to uh, the fifth uh, stage involved in program development. You know earlier, I told you there are five stages, the problem definition, solution design, program coding or writing, then the program testing and the 
program documentation and maintenance. Now let's look at program documentation and maintenance. Uh, there is no good programming without documentation. You have to know that. This is the documentation of all the work involved in the program uh, development. The documentation should consist of all written descriptions and explanations of the program and other materials associated with the development. Generally, proper documentation uh, serves as reference guide for programmers and system analysts who are to modify the programs and their procedures when the needs arise. Um, when an organization grows, for example, program modifications must keep uh, the pace with its changing needs. Hence, the process of documentation is an ongoing one. Here, we have talked about the five stages involved in program development, problem definition, solution design, program coding or, test, and, or testing, and then, and, or writing, then program testing, and program documentation and maintenance. These are the stages involved in program development. Thank you for listening class. See you in the next class.